family. Back again in the UT Garden Spots with our All-American Selection Tomato Trials. I want to give you just a little bit of information about one of the mulching techniques that we've used here, which is a natural mulching technique. So plastic can be a great option in the home garden. Another choice that you have is the use of a newspaper and a straw mulch. So we have just used a recycled newspaper, about two to four layers thick. That gives us a good opportunity to block light, block the germination of annual weeds. Now some of our perennial weeds, like nutsedge, may still be able to come through. And then we cover that with a nice layer of straw. We're gonna be using straw because it gives us the opportunity to use the stems of grass, which do not have seed heads on them. And that way we don't introduce more seeds into our plot. Here is our straw mulch in action. We have the newspaper underneath, which is doing a good job not only of retaining soil moisture, but also blocking weed germination. And then we have a nice layer of uh, straw on top of it which of course helps hold down the newspaper. It also uh, will eventually uh, break down and add organic matter to our plots. So this is all applied by hand. It's a system that can work really at any scale in your own home garden. And it can also combine well with uh, irrigation. So one of the potential benefits of using a straw mulch in addition to the breakdown that can increase organic matter is also the fact that straw is lighter colored. So obviously if we have a black plastic mulch that's going to absorb light and heat up, it can be great in the springtime, but in the heat of the summer, a lighter colored straw mulch will reflect light and it can actually keep our soil temperature a little bit cooler. So in our plots at the UT Gardens, you've seen that we use a natural mulch with newspaper overlain by straw. Here in the trials uh, on the research station, we have a slightly different setup. So this is certainly very useful for commercial growers, but plastic mulches can also be used by home growers as well. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you secure the plastic uh, very well on both sides so that it stays tight throughout the growing season. And the most important thing to remember is that it's impermeable to water, so you're going to have to have a drip line. And this is just an irrigation line that's laid right underneath of the mulch. So this is a young tomato plant that's been in the ground for about two weeks. You can see that it's really starting to root in well under this plastic. We just cut a hole in the plastic and made a large enough area to put our seedling and uh, transplant media in and right here is the drip line running right beside it to supply all the water it needs throughout the season. So why use plastic mulch? There are several benefits that could be useful on a small scale. One is that it does a very good job of keeping down weeds, especially annual weeds, because it blocks light and prevents germination. It can help retain moisture. So if we're using a drip line, the water that we add will stay in the soil longer. It won't evaporate as much. They also can retain heat. So if we have a black plastic mulch, it will absorb solar radiation, sunlight, and warm up our soil, which can be great early in the season. Later in the season, we could even choose to use a white mulch, which would reflect light and keep our soil cooler. Those are just a few of the reasons that mulch could be useful in your own home garden.